Hello, my name is Dr. Lane Robson. I'm a pediatrician and a pediatric kidney and bladder specialist. I've been working as a doctor helping families for almost 50 years. Yep, I'm that old. For the last 20 years, I've devoted my practice exclusively to helping families with children who have day and nighttime wedding. When you focus on such a small area for a long time, you'll learn a thing or two. I hope these videos help families that have children with day and nighttime wedding. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dr. Lane Robson. The question I'm going to answer today is, what is the number one reason for problems with toilet training? The most common problem that parents do not anticipate before they start toilet training their child is to take into consideration the bowel health. Now, if the bowel health of the child is not optimal, if the child is not pooping absolutely every day, hopefully more than once a day, if the poop is not soft and easy to pass without straining or pushing, then the parents should not start toilet training. Failure to ensure that the bowel health is optimal before toilet training is essential. If bowel health is not optimal, the poop, the hard solid poop that isn't coming out at the bottom of a very small pelvis pushes into the bladder and compromises bladder size. When the bladder is small, this is a real obstacle to toilet training. So, the number one reason why toilet training is difficult, a struggle for parents, is that they fail to take into consideration bowel health before they start. Thank you.